Hello everybody, we're here today talking about the new film on Netflix, Fistful of Vengeance. Well, is it any good? Let's get into it. Kai Jin, Iko Oyes, a young chef in Chinatown in present day San Francisco, becomes entangled with the Chinese triad's pursuit of deadly ancient powers, known as the Wu Zing. So, as mentioned, we do have Iku Oweis as Kai Jin and Louis Tan as Lu Jin Li, who is Kai Jin's partner throughout this mission. And, well, you know, I got a very rush hour vibe going on between them. It felt like Louis Tan was trying to be like the Chris Tucker esque character, and Iku is like Jackie Chan. And well, I guess they do work well together when they're on screen and everything and battling together, but the film has bigger issues. The film is a continuation of the Netflix series, The Wu Assassins, it's like the continuation of that story, which honestly, I haven't seen that series. I really had no interest in, in watching whatsoever. I watched the trailer and everything, and I'm a big fan of Eco Awaits, but it just, no. And this film certainly reassured us that I made a wise choice. And as I did previously say, I do really like Eco Awaits. I'm a big fan ever since Raid 1 and 2. I've wanted to see more of them in bigger roles. I've, I've got my fingers crossed that there's time for him to be in a John Wick. But yeah, in this film, you know, again, I get, he is probably the best part of the film, except <laughs> he's just acting he like he, when he's talking it's just also wooden there's just absolute like no charisma there and he is he's definitely a probably a charism charismatic actor but in this film it certainly does not show that would probably in part be in because of the right and some of the things that are just coming out of these people's mouths it's just like eye rolling there's many times i was watching and i was just like oh my god I, honestly i could not care less on what was happening on the screen and again, just I haven't seen the series, so as far as I know, it, like from his character, he's got these powers, but as well when he's fighting, it's just like he doesn't ever use them, apart from like at the end of the film. And again, I'm sure that is my fault because I haven't seen him. There's pro probably a story to that in the series, but it's just nothing's entirely explained whatsoever. You basically need to have seen the show. And from the start of this film, there's like people sucking the souls out of people. I don't know, they probably, I imagine, become more powerful or something. It's just, I don't think it's really well explained in the film. Again, if you've seen the series, I'm sure you're aware. But this has not made me want to go back and experience that. Louis Tan in this film, yet again, just uh, honestly, it's just another disappointment. Again, just in this, just everyone acting, just very wooden. He, He's like, as I say, he's like the Chris Tucker character from Rush Hour. He tries making like witty comments and all that kind of stuff when you come back from that, but it just falls flat. In it really, it just squishes, in fact. The music in this film is absolutely horrendous. Not necessarily the music itself. It's just the timing, the placement of the, the music hitting and everything, trying to get you pumped up and that, but... It just doesn't work. The music does not go well whatsoever with the vibe of this film. Incredibly bad choices, in my opinion. It, all, it just all of it just does not gel well together. It is really trying to be a lot more stylish, stylistic than it really is. In this film, it's one potential saving grace was the action, the fighting. Again, with the talent behind it and that. And that isn't even great. To be quite honest, it's barely even good yeah a few decent hand to hand kills but really just barely watchable and a bit of go here and there does not save it this really isn't worth anybody's time I, I honestly i couldn't recommend any less not to spend any of your time watching this you probably will i don't know maybe you will like it <laughs> i don't know how but you might like it if you've seen the Wu Assassin series and you enjoyed all of that. Obviously, this is a continuation, so you might like it. But for me, I very much disliked this. It was a complete waste of time. It was actually really quite short, and I praise the Lord for that. Many times, I wanted to just switch this off. I just couldn't be bothered watching it. But I kept it on, fan of Eco. You know, maybe it's going to get better. It didn't.
Luckily, as I say, it was only an hour and a half. Like, quite honestly, this film is basically what I was honestly expecting it to be. A stereotypical Netflix film. The quality is incredibly questionable. The acting is just... And if it wasn't for being a fan of Eco, I would have turned this off after 30 minutes. But unfortunately for me, I'm giving this a four. And if it wasn't for the action and the fighting, because that is pretty much the only time I could actually keep my eyes on the screen, it would be a lot lower. So if you're a fan of Eco like me, I highly do recommend the film on Netflix as well, The Night Comes For Us. It's extremely brutal and violent, but it's really worth your time in watching, especially over this. But if you've actually also seen this film and you did like it, or if you didn't like it, do let us know your thoughts on this film down in the comments. I'd be interested to hear. So thank you everybody for watching, and why not check out this video that you may enjoy.